Hey, coffee fam, welcome back to the darkest corner of the coffee cup, where we sip bitter truths about personality predators. In part one, we dissected the narc parasites, and in part two, we chilled with the Ice King's psychopaths. Today, we're talking about their favorite prey, the empath. Imagine a lighthouse in a storm, its light a beacon of warmth and healing. Now imagine that lighthouse surrounded by shadowy islands, drawn to its glow. These islands are the empaths, and the shadows that stalk them are narcissists and psychopaths. Why are empaths so susceptible? It's like they speak a different language, a language of kindness, compassion, and understanding. Narcissists and psychopaths crave what they lack in this language, emotional intelligence, genuine connection, and the ability to build healthy relationships. The empath's sensitivity becomes a vulnerability. Their desire to heal attracts the broken, and sometimes that brokenness hides a predator. The narcissist weaves webs of charm, mirroring the empath's emotions to gain trust. The psychopath uses their cunning intellect to exploit the empath's desire to help, turning them into emotional sponges. But the empath is not just a victim. Their strength lies in their awareness. By recognizing the warning signs, the possessiveness, the manipulation, the constant emotional drain, they can break free from the darkness. Remember, coffee fam, even the brightest lighthouse can extinguish if its fuel runs low. Empaths need to learn to set boundaries, prioritize their own well-being, and seek support from healthy communities. Don't forget to like, comment, and share to spread the message and protect other empaths from the predators in the dark. And remember, with coffee, knowledge is always the sweetest revenge.